Our natural world is in crisis. Join the conversation today. House, again, instead of being like a traditional posting beam construction, he uses tires. So it's like kind of like a berm wall and then the tires are packed with mud and the tires are stacked like bricks. And then there's like concrete that's kind of put on the outside, of both, of, both sides of the walls. What this does is creates thermal mass. Mm-hmm. And so when you have thermal mass with the exterior walls of the structure, you're able to control the temperature on the inside of the structure. Right. And then the front of the structures, he does a greenhouse where you have the ability to use your own, grow your own food. And then it also doubles as a heating system. So the house is typically face south. The sun's facing the greenhouse all day. It heats up in the greenhouse. There's windows on the top of the greenhouse that vent the heat into the house. So basically, you know, just outside of Taos, he's got several structures out there now. And the way that the construction's done, he can maintain an interior temperature of 72 degrees year round. Whether the blazing summer or covered in snow. It's the ultimate passive design. It's, You're using passive systems. I mean, it, what's funny is they're the Earth's system. So, I mean, it's yeah, not passive I mean, really, but it's it, really non mechanical. I mean, exactly. I mean, uh, my son was five and I threw him in the back of my Land Rover and mm-hmm. <laughs> just went on a road trip out to New Mexico because I wanted to see this for myself. And I had to say, stepping into one of those houses, if you guys ever have a chance to do it, you should definitely just. Go check it out. It's open to the public. You can kind of walk around and explore a bit. Um, That's awesome. But when you step into one of these houses, I, I don't know how else to describe it other than it's like you're stepping into a living, breathing structure. Mm. Because even the airflow in the house is thought out with, you know, way, the way they cool the house is they'll have a like a grill that can open and close on the wall. And then you have these, got these pipes that go eight feet underground, travel out, I don't know, 30 feet, and then pop up outside. But because the air cools underground, when it comes out into the house, it's like free air conditioning. Yeah, you know? yeah. And then you're using ge- geothermal and you know, exactly. passive yeah. design, and it's, it's all of the best uh, you know, but, man-made but, things. Exactly, but everything works together. You know, he mm-hmm. has a water catch uh, system that goes into a cistern. The water's used five times. Like, it's just, so for me, the building practices and the building processes are genius. Where it falls short for me is the aesthetics. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit, uh, I mean, if anybody's familiar with Cobb Cottages, uh, yeah, it's you a know. Little, it's a little wavy gravy, right? <laughs> It's a little it's like cool, dug but... into the side of a cave kind of. Yeah, uh, exactly. Building the future, green building in the new millennium, brought to you by Sustainable Homes of the Future. Join in.